Good snowy Monday morning to you. Thanks for joining us for Upper Michigan today. Happy to be here with you. I hope uh, you're getting those cars brushed off okay, the sidewalks brushed off. It's kind of slippery out there, and that snow is heavy and wet. It's real wet. You'll definitely want to have put your boots on this morning. If you'll be trudging through the snow, you'll have wet feet. If you don't, and that's <laughs> like one of the worst things in the morning. I know. I always say, wet socks fine line between sanity <laughs> and absolutely losing your stuff especially on a monday morning but you know it looks really really gorgeous it's outside beautiful. yeah um this is the snow that we've been wishing for i know since like november it's so here it snow. is yeah. Here it is. And, uh, so enjoy it if you can. Yeah. A lot of kids are on, a lot of schools are closed around the Upper Peninsula. It's spring break for mm -hmm. a lot of schools. Um, there's a couple closings this morning, but uh, if you're home and you're not going to school, get out and play with it. Yeah. You know, make a snowman. Do, mm -hmm. do what we couldn't do for all that time and try to have some fun in it. Jennifer says it's a slow-moving system, yeah. so we can expect this to stick around for a few days, but there are some rain chances later on in the, yeah. in the day, so be careful for that. It's a really pretty sight out there, but things might get even slipperier. It might get kind of gross outside, so just take, take her easy. That's right. She talked about a, what is she, a flash freeze. I love it when she talks in those kind of yeah, excited in jargon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I think that's Wednesday. So where it's supposed to get real cold mm. overnight, and so be extra careful just for the next few days. Just take caution. And then we're back into the 40s, and mm -hmm. you know, going into next. And happy weekend. springtime. I know, I know. How are you, by the way? You know, you you yeah. were off. You kind of had a hard week, um, not feeling. We we collectively, I think, throughout the newsroom have all shared this just wonderful respiratory thing that's been going around. And I know. It was your turn at the end of last week, but you're looking and sounding much better. <laughs> I'm feeling so much better, Good. too, Elizabeth. Yeah, I, I ended up having a sinus infection, and I was battling that for two weeks, and... Yeah, it lasted forever. I know. I'm on the come up now, though. It feels good. <laughs> good, good. It's yeah. nice to see you with a little bit of I know. light back into I know. your face. I finally have a little bit of pep in my step again. I always, like last week, every episode we did, I was like feeling bad. Like, Tia, do you want to play basketball? I'm like, <laughs> no, but I, hoops, but I will. But here we are. <laughs> um, but speaking of shooting hoops, I was talking about the episode that we did with the Ishpeming mm -hmm. Hematites is uh, they were preparing to head into, I think then it was the quarterfinals. Mm -hmm. Well, over the weekend, they won that quarterfinal game. They won the semifinal game. And then they won the state uh, final game. So they are uh, Division Four state champs. And mm -hmm. it's been really fun to follow that story and all of their hard work. Of course, it was uh, a big year for them because 50 years ago, their very first team in that program at Ishpeming, um, the 73-74 Trailblazers, as they're called, um, made it to the quarterfinals. Mm -hmm. And so it, it was um, it just a, a neat way to celebrate 50 years from that big milestone. And they had so much support from that original team and mm -hmm. then, of course, the community and the UP. And, and for the first time in the program history ever, Division Four state champions, I mean, it's Talk so about good. power, girl power. I feel so proud of those girls. I'm not even an Ishpeming graduate. I didn't play basketball. I don't know any of them personally, <laughs> but it just feels like a win that all of us can celebrate. Definitely. And uh, hopefully uh, Ryan Rico is uh, coming on the, show, the TV6 Morning News tomorrow, so we'll be chatting with him. Specifically, I want to talk to him about the moment when the game ended um, mm. and I love watching the video because he just sits back and takes it all in. Right, mm -hmm. the girls run to the court and they're celebrating and they're hugging and they're crying and just having this emotional moment. And he, of course, is emotional because he's an emotional man, but he just kind of sat back and took it in. And I, I just, mm -hmm. I can't wait to hear how that felt and talk with him a little bit more because I know how much it meant to him. Um, I his, mean, he certainly deserves to relish the moment. He so does. I'm excited yeah. to hear about it tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. Well, this morning, uh, we are at Glow Laser Aesthetics right mm -hmm. here in Chocolate Township. And uh, we have had Jamie Thayer, one of the co-owners of Glow, on Upper Michigan Today so many times she's a regular we love having her on mm -hmm. about once a month we like to check in with her but you know we have yet to do a show from her actual office mm -hmm. so we thought you know what let's take a tour let's yeah. see these lasers that we talk about in these machines that mm -hmm. she can't you know throw in her car and bring into her <laughs> right. studio so today we're going to actually take a full tour and um, maybe turn a laser on and see what that even looks like yeah. and who knows? Who knows what we'll get into? Yeah, we have a lot to talk about and show off today. That's right. So stick around. Uh, we'll be talking with Jamie when we come back. It's beautiful in here, though. <laughs> 